Rappers react to 6 9 Gooba. Ever since 6 9 was released from prison, we have all been expecting new music as well as new shenanigans, and 6 9 has shown us that even while he is under house arrest, he has still been working on his music. While most of us stuck at home have been bored out of our minds. Hey guys, before we get into the video, make sure to enter a giveaway to win any of these prizes. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, comment the keyword, like the video, turn on post notifications, and most importantly, watch the whole video. 6 9 has been working on new music, and he even dropped a new song called Gooba. The music video for the song is fairly colorful and seems like an excuse for 6 9 to just show off his worldly possessions. It seems as though prison hasn't really had a negative effect on him, but he will soon discover, now that he is back in the real world, that not everyone is happy to see him home. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card? Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. 6 9 soon jumped onto Instagram in a live video on May 8th, which broke the world record for most views at a staggering 2 million. Aside from showing off, as per usual, including his $500,000 encrusted shark pendant, 6 9 wanted to clear the air with his fans about everything that had been going on, as well as promote his new song. The New York rapper isn't the most popular guy right now, amongst other rappers, especially now that he is seen as a rat and got many of his old crew members locked up. But now that 6 9 is out, he is ready to finally tell his side of the story and why he did what he did. The thing is, 6 9 is a really lucky guy. Instead of facing 47 years in jail, he managed to get two years instead. And when he bargained with the judge and requested if he could serve the remainder of his sentence at home due to fears of the coronavirus, 6 9 is asthmatic and would likely be high risk, and the judge granted him the request for health reasons. In his live video, 6 9 said, I want to say that I'm sorry to my fans because you know what? It wasn't worth it. I want to say that I'm sorry to my fans because you know what? It wasn't worth it. It wasn't. He then decided to break down some of the reasons why he snitched in the first place. The biggest one was the fact that his crew weren't loyal to him. He said in his live video, I snitched, I ratted, but who was I supposed to be loyal to? I snitched, I ratted, but who was I supposed to be loyal to? It's hard to tell if 6 9 is showing genuine remorse for his actions, or if it is that he's trying to backtrack and justify what he did. If you were in his shoes, you would want your fans to be able to understand the situation you were in and empathize with you. If you have 2 million people watching you live on Instagram, you are probably more likely to say what you want to hear rather than the actual truth itself. It's also interesting that 6 9 is attempting to convey a narrative in which snitching isn't nearly a taboo thing, as many years before, but he is probably not familiar with the term, snitches get stitches. In almost every movie or TV show about prison, snitches were often the ones who got targeted, alienated, or even assaulted, or worse. So it's interesting that 6 9 is taking to Instagram and almost downplaying the actions he took. But why did 6 9 really snitch? Well, apparently, members of 6 9s gang had been sleeping with his baby mama, stealing millions of dollars from him, kidnapped him, and even beat him up. Would you remain loyal in that kind of crazy situation? 6 9 was also facing up to 47 years in prison with all the charges against him, but he got released early and put under house arrest. After making a plea deal in which he agreed to give up evidence against the Nine Trey gang and testify a string of things which they had done, 6 9 was given a lesser sentence. Part of the motivation as to why 6 9 snitched was that he learned that some of the members of the gang were plotting against him. During his live Instagram video, 6 9 says, I want to say thank you to the judge for allowing me to come home to my family. I want to say thank you to, you know, the, the, the judge for, you know, allowing me to come home to my family to let me uh, celebrate a birthday out here with my family, you know, and I appreciate that. As much as you guys want to pay me out to be a, I appreciate every little thing and I didn't do nothing wrong. So it sounds as though maybe 6 9 finally did learn something. Who would have thought? He further clarified that he was a cooperating witness. This sounds as though he is trying to lose the label of being a snitch. And the problem is, these kinds of labels stick. Rappers decided to comment on their views during the live stream. Bad Baby and Amber Rose both commented with laughing emojis. It seemed as though they had no issue with 6 9 and Lil Nas X said, No homo, you're looking kind of cute. With 2 million viewers of his live video, it seems that many had missed 6 9 and his crazy antics. It's plausible that maybe things will finally work out for him, provided he actually behaves himself and doesn't do anything stupid. Well, we can hope anyways. It's not like 6 9 to not troll though. Not long after he got out of jail, he commented on a post by The Shade Room titled, Los Angeles' mayor is offering rewards for snitching on businesses violating the city's stay-at-home order. 6 9 decided to respond to the Instagram post by saying, coming to the rescue. While it was funny, 
This would have infuriated many other rappers who had seen it. In fact, when 6 9 did post his livestream, not all comments from fellow rappers were positive. One of the most interesting came from the rapper Little TJ. Little TJ commented with SMH. Since 6 9 had been in jail, Little TJ had taken rap by storm, even daring to proclaim himself the King of New York. To assume such a title was definitely going to get the attention of 6 9 During the livestream, 6 9 responded, We can't beef. Me and y'all not the same. Y'all not the kings of New York. Look at the numbers. How y'all let that kid rat? How y'all let him rat and come home to still get more numbers than us? Break all the records. Y'all can't stand it. You're a little boy. Sit down. The king is home. It's over. We can't beef. Me and y'all not the same. King of wit. Why I keep hearing king of New York, king of New York? Y'all not the kings of New York. Look at the numbers. Oh, well, he winning right now, yo. Yo, how y'all let that kid rat, right? How y'all let him rat and come home to beat? Still get more numbers than us. Break all the records. Why y'all let, y'all can't stand it or something? Then, after the Instagram Live, 6 9 then posted a video showing 2 million viewers with the caption, I'm still the king of New York. Well, he is still the king of trolling, that is for sure. Even though he has managed to rake up a ton of views, there was still some haters. Some of the viewers of the video were posting rat emojis and other offensive things, but it's not like that would affect 6 9s ego. Now, a lot of rappers had an opinion on what was said, but instead of commenting on Instagram, they responded on Twitter instead. The rapper with the biggest issue with 6 9 was Meek Mills. Meek served his time in jail and got out, and it seemed like he is doing really well, even welcoming a new addition to his family with a newborn baby. Before 6 9 went live, Meek took to Twitter to say, I hope that rat going live to apologize to the people he told or the victim. Y'all forgot that fast, a rat killed Nipsey. He wasn't supposed to be on the streets. That's the only thing I'ma say, because he's dead. Left his baby mama and child like a coward as targets. 6 9 was quick to respond by saying, Imagine having a newborn baby, being pressed about a Mexican with rainbow hair. Now Meek Mill didn't tune in to 6 9s livestream, but he did respond by Twitter, saying, Super trash, then got up a hundred shots. Stop, turn Durkio and Nav back on. During 6 9s livestream, he didn't say anything directly to Meek Mill, but some of his shots seemed aimed at him. He said, to try on kid like me, to be like, yo, f that, he's a rat. To be like, yo, he ratted. If a rat came home and did more numbers than me, I would be mad too. To try to shit on a kid like me, to be like, yo, f that, he's a rat, he's a rat, he's a rat, he's a rat. To be like, yo, he ratted. To then a rat. A rat like me to come home and still do more numbers than you, I will be mad too. Another rap legend that has a problem with 6 9 is Snoop Dogg. Snoop always seems like the kind of guy who is constantly chilled and never really bothered by anything, which is why him responding to 6 9 is really telling of how big of an impact his snitching has caused. Snoop jumped onto Twitter, they gotta stop pushing this rat, all these media outlets making snitching cool, I'm old school. 6 9 and everybody pushing his line right now, all New York, GZ. Feel me on this, and if you don't, you too. At Meek Mill, if you allow sucka, then you a sucka. Love you, cuz. Stay sucka free. 6 9 is yet to respond to Snoop Dogg, but you know it can't be good when one of the biggest rappers in the industry is against you. It seems as though 6 9 isn't really taking the situation seriously at all, and isn't even concerned. But he is under house arrest. He can't go anywhere, and has made a lot of enemies. 6 9 should really think about what he says online, and try and not stir up trouble. Usually big stars get advice from their lawyers or managers about what they should say and what they shouldn't before going live, but it feels as though 6 9 isn't consulting anyone. And there is this feeling that at some point, he is going to say something that would really upset someone in a high profile position. Some other rappers have been posting low key shots at 6 9 after his Instagram live video. Trippy Red, who has been known for having beef with 6 9 heard 69's new song. He took to Instagram and simply posted a laughing face emoji. While Trippy didn't write much else, it was pretty obvious that it was aimed at 6 9 Tory Lanez also took to Instagram as well, saying, I was looking at that too, Mill. Like, welp, I'm a head out, with a bunch of funny emojis. After what 6 9 said in his live video, Little TJ took to Instagram, posting a picture with the caption, Lil Boy? SMH. I can't argue with one of those. All that though. Zoo York video out now. Rip Pop Smoke. Even Drake got involved, though not responding directly. But during his Instagram story, Drake was watching CNN at his crib, and he posted a photo saying, Those reporting on non-essential businesses that remain open are whistleblowers or snitches. 6 9 is yet to respond, as he is currently on the move after his location was discovered. 
6 ix 9 took some photos of his balcony and uploaded them, and they have given away his current location, endangering him. Since we are in a global pandemic, this would be the perfect opportunity for any of 6 ix 9s enemies to make a move, since police and many other first responders are totally stretched, and if something was to happen, then it would take the cops a long time to arrive. What do you guys think? Do you think 6 9 was right to snitch? Do you think that he is in danger? Would you do the same if you were in the same crazy situation? Please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to give us a like, because you are awesome. Hey, yeah. Lights, camera, action, pull up with a bad bitch. If you wanna set, show me the cash app. Hey, don't expect me to pin my phone when you call. I've been working, I've been working, I've been serving extra. Yeah, we with the extra.